Okay, Monday, 14 January 2013, 710 in the morning. We have another rain out of here. Uh, demonstrate where I'm doing the sampling at and these wipes. Now, we're going to take a wipe of a uh, There's our wipe. It is a rainy morning in Scottsboro, Alabama. Here's our inspector. Now we're going to place the counter over the wipe. Uh, it's been raining for about three days now. Off and off. Now we're going to use our technique to determine uh, exactly what type of radionuclide this is, whether it be emitting alpha, beta, or gamma. Okay, and here we have our uh, our filters that helps us determine what type of uh, Radiation is being emitted from our sample. Here's our wipe. We're going to place the uh, a, as, on back down to the regular count. And as you can see, up it goes. Hour 6.30 now. 6.46. A piece of plastic over the sample. This is demonstrating approximately 40% reduction. It's been 15 minutes since the initial sample. White. As you can see, it's still quite elevated. Now we will do the testing through a double sheet of aluminum foil. And as you can see, even with a double sheet of aluminum foil, uh, we're still uh, receiving penetration from the uh, radiation from the uh, radionuclide present. This is four sheets of aluminum foil. Now from this test, <clears throat> although there's substantial amount of radiation which is, is blocked by the four sheets of aluminum foil there is still considerably um, a considerable amount of penetration is going through <coughs> the aluminum foil as you can see there's our sample here's our cookie sheet from our sample. However, background being around 36, uh, uh, the radionuclide is emitting some gamma radiation which is penetrating uh, the steel. This testing and discrimination between filters, our filters, are uh, is demonstrating the type of radiation being emitted. 25 minutes into the test, at this time, there is a slight decline in the radionuclide present. Test this again at uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, an hour, so forth and so on. However, even at 25 minutes, we're seeing a uh, counts per minute reading of over 600. Now I'm going to switch the detector to uh, to the Rankin measurements. This is Miller Rankins per hour.
we have a uh, approximately at 25 minutes uh, we have a 20 percent decrease okay this is a rainwater sample the detector is back down to 38 Well, there's a slight elevation here. Uh, the count is elevated when I uh, wipe a surface, such as my automobile. Uh, there is a reason for this. Uh, the uh, radionuclides attach themselves to particles. They readily attach themselves to particles. Uh, it's almost like the particles are a magnet. Okay, we're now 30 minutes past our uh, 30 minutes original plus test. old. Okay, we're now at 50 minutes past our initial sampling time and move over the sample and take our reading. Once again, this is at 51 minutes. Okay, we're now going to demonstrate our reading at one hour past the uh, initial sampling of our sample and uh, radiation source. Okay, we're now we are now over just a tad over two hours, about uh, two hours and five minutes. We're going to do another test here of our and as you can see the uh, our source which is the wipe initially uh, from a vehicle hood of around 100 counts per minute. This is just two hours. Post. Once again, this was our initial sample taken at uh, 710. It is now three hours later, actually three hours and five minutes later.